Hello Aries, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. If you are new to my channel, welcome. So this tarot card reading is going to be following a different format. In this portion of the reading, I'm going to be looking at the energy of the individual you are dealing with. And in the extended, I'm going to be looking at the internal issues as well as providing advice and the best strategy for you. So let's begin your reading. What is the energy of the person that Aries is dealing with? Okay, so the first card that has flipped out is in reverse position. This is a card that talks about love. It talks about divine intervention. It's a very powerful energy when two people are brought together for a purpose, for a reason. It's very heavily linked into destiny, things of that nature, right? But this card has shown up in reverse position. Now, when you look at the upright meaning of this energy, it talks about two people that are magnetically drawn to one another. They may not understand why things like this are happening in their life. This could be something that you have felt challenged as well. For some of you, this could be your twin flame. For others, it could just be a soulmate. But nonetheless, this talks about a very you know strong connection. It talks about people that have similarities, it talks about desires, romance, shared value, things of that nature. Now, when I look at this particular card in reverse position, it feels as if the two of you have disconnected. There's an element here where one individual has either left the situation or moved away from the situation. Now, this is depicting the energy of the person that you're dealing with. So what I'm getting from it is that this person is recognizing that something has went wrong in this situation. They could be asking questions. They could be trying to figure out what caused this sort of uh, void to occur between the two of you. So let's have a look and see what is challenging this energy. Okay, so the card that is challenging this energy is all about power. It's all about someone being very strong in this situation. Now, for some of you, this could be depicting your energy. But what I'm really getting from it is that there's the potential for power struggles. There could be other elements playing a role in this connection. It feels like this is an energy of where... You know, one person is not giving in to their passions. One person could be a little bit difficult in the relationship because I feel like someone cannot depend on the other year, right? What I'm also sensing from these energies is that something may have went wrong in your connection because it feels as if one person may have fled the situation Right? When one individual got too, you know, attached to the other person, it feels as if one person may have gotten overwhelmed. This could be either you or the individual concerned, depending on who ran away from this. So I feel like, you know, this person is registering that. They may feel a sense of abandonment from you. For those of you that chose to leave this person behind or to walk away, they may feel as if you've changed or that you're different. It just depends on who chose to move away. But this individual's energy is registering these type of, uh, you know, frequencies. So clearly it's having an effect. Now, the card in the intention position is 
you know, very heavily focus on detachment. It's very heavily focus on having that poker face, not showing much emotion, not showing or giving any sort of indication of any uh, disruptions. It feels as if trying to give the world and perhaps to you as well, this idea that all is well. That's what I'm getting from that particular card. So this could be a card of pretense. You know, when a person goes through a great deal of trouble to act as if they're not affected by deeper emotions and they put on a really straight face, there's always going to be some sort of volcano beneath the surface. Yeah. The next card is talking about a difficulty in moving away from the situation. So I do feel like this person still thinks about you, right? There's something that's still tying them to the situation. There's also that poker face as well. Yeah, the card in the past position is talking about a very rigid attitude. Now, for some of you, this can play out in different ways, okay? In one light, this individual could have been emotionally withholding love or materially withholding love. It depends on how you, you know, uh, accept love, etc. But I feel like one individual was very closed off, withdrawn, very sort of uh, potentially mean, okay? There's definitely that indication there of not being able to open up one's heart. And it feels like the type of attitude where, you know, you know that you deserve more. This individual knew that as well. But instead, they chose to, you know, act or behave in a certain manner. Now, we have this card which is indicating a very different sort of outlook on the situation. I do feel like this individual is putting on a smile and pretending to everybody that everything is okay. That's what their energy is showing right now. There's something about their spirituality that is happening because in the attitude position, I feel like there's an element you're connected to their spirituality that is coming into play. There's something ha happening behind the scenes because the general energy that I'm getting here is false facades, poker faces, pretense, right? So... Yeah, there's a lot of thoughts happening in the backdrop of this individual's world. Still waters run deep. It definitely is linked into that sort of phrase. There's something about things moving very slow here. Yeah, I'm getting the energy of anxiety, worry, fear, things of that nature. There's a lot of tense energies that are coming through from the person that you're dealing with. It's definitely having and playing a lot of havoc in their life. But there's also a lot of pretense. There's a lot of uh, poker faces, things of that nature where they are thinking and feeling certain things beneath the surface, that, but they're not showing it. Now, when I look at the oracle cards, the first card is called called, right? It talks about soul gifts and training. It talks about stepping up. So it depicts a portal of some nature. It feels as if there's a doorway and something is definitely, you know, happening. Either you or this individual is in the process of walking through this doorway and where that takes you or this individual, you know, that's still unknown. But I feel like in the situation, one person has not really chosen love because this card came out in reverse position. There was a choice here. There was uh, the element of possibility and potential. One individual will turn their uh, back against that. And I feel like there's a lot of observations that are happening in this, uh, you know, energy of the person that you're dealing with, especially because... They're not really voicing these observations. They're not really displaying it. There's this element of 
being troubled by something but not really facing it. So I'm going to be exploring the balance of these energies on an extended reading. I'm going to be looking more closely at this individual's energy to try to understand, you know, what is really going on with them. What is that poker face? What is this element of pretense? What is happening beneath the facade? Okay, we're going to be looking on the inside of this individual to see if, you know, there's anything important that you need to know, as well as paying attention to the right strategy to move, because it feels like there's a lot of feelings that are bubbling beneath the surface, but they're not uh, really showing much right now. And you may be able to pick up on this on your interaction with this individual if you are interacting with them or perhaps from their social media. So I feel like this person has gone very quiet for some of you and it might be very difficult to read their energy or try to establish where they stand, right? So I hope you guys have enjoyed your reading. You can find the link for the extended in the description box below. Have a wonderful day and take care.